Over 5 million people play football in the USA. And here to bring it to you in the raw, uncut, unadulterated, is the undisputed number one sports show in Atlanta and abroad. 100 yards of football. Live from headquarters. It's more than a game. More than a show. It's where football blends culture, economics, and society. Tap in, tune in, and lock in to 100 yards of football now. Hello and welcome to 100 Yards of Football Sports Talk Radio. I'm your producer, Logan Landers. And today we got a special one. We're going to a game preview on the Georgia Bulldogs going up against the Clemson Tigers. Oh, it's going to be a good one. September the 4th is going to be a great game between the SEC and the ACC. It's been a while since these two teams faced each other. But man, it's going to be a battle when they go head to head. And I can't do it by myself. So I had to bring on, of course, the football encyclopedia of the program. Mr. Football representing the 901 to the finest. Mr. Football, Vincent Turner, what's going on, man? How you doing this morning? You're so kind this morning, Mr. Landers. <laughs> You're so hey. kind, my man. Thank you, thank you. I do my best. I got to get that good intro in there. It brings the good energy, brings the good vibes. But hey, Absolutely. <laughs> of course. But before we get started, though, be sure if you enjoy this video here, to like, comment, share, and subscribe. We go live each and every week on Facebook at 100 Yards of Football, YouTube under the same handle as well, and on Twitch. Also, hey, if you haven't already, please go check out our podcast. We upload daily episodes, sometimes twice a day, about great team previews, game previews, uh, draft history, history specials with our guy, uh, Mr. Football, Vince Turner here, and everything else you want in a football show. We have it, and we upload each and every day in just 15 to an hour-long segment, just depending on what we're talking about and how, uh, how emotional we get about that topic. So please go over and check us out and be sure to uh, like, comment, share, and subscribe to all of our videos so you don't miss another great piece of content from all of us here at 100 Yards of Football. Vincent, it's time, baby. College football coming back. This is the big one next Saturday. Oh, my Lord. Georgia versus Clemson. Please tell the viewers who you think is going to win this game, what are the keys to victory for both of these squads, and how you think this game is going to shake out next Saturday. You know, Logan, it's always a very, very special time when college football kicks off the season. And I go back um, with memories of listening to my first college game. Of course, you know, I'm from the great state of Tennessee. No disrespect to nobody else. Six million people in the state of Tennessee. And I remember listening to the University of Tennessee football broadcast. And one of the best that ever done it, John Ward. And he always opened up the season, he always said, it's football time in the state of Tennessee. Well, you know what? It's football time on a national level. This game right here is going to be must-see TV. The only game that really matters on that first, on that weekend, Labor Day weekend, Charlotte, North Carolina is going to be rocking. People everywhere wearing the Clemson colors, wearing the Georgia colors. People very intoxicated. And people shout now, go dogs and go tigers. And this is a very, very high anticipated game because what you're looking at, you're really looking at this game kicking off the NFL season because it's going to be NFL talent all over the field. And I'm talking about players that's going to come out of this game, it's going to be stars on the next level. That's what I'm excited about. It's almost like when you're looking at this football game, I'm going to go back to a a gentleman that I followed in college is one of my favorite musicians. His name was Stevie Harrington. And he had a song, I'm Watching You. Well, you know what? They're going to be watching this football game on the national level at 7.30. They kick off. Now I'm going to start with the Clemson Tigers. Very, very serious football team, serious program, but I'm going to start with the head coach. Dabo Sweeney took the job in 2008. And I'm going to be honest with you. I did not see the fire power, the fire, the explosion coming out of Clemson, South Carolina, what he's done in the last six years. They program is almost mirror of how the USC programs were in the mid-70s. They had Lynn Swan, Sam DeBam, Cunningham, Ronnie Lott, Anthony Munoz. Yes, I'm going to put them up there with that type of situation. The Alabama programs in the late 70s and the early 80s, Barry Krause, E.J. Jr., Tony Nathan, Ozzie Newsom, 
and how ironic the guy that's got this smoke running down in Clemson played at Alabama on the 1992 National Championship team. And think about this. Clemson has just came out of a, a rocket. And when you think about Clemson football and you look at their situation and success here, you got to give kudos to the 81 squad that set it off under Danny Ford, Jeff Bryan, William Devaney, Danny Triplett, Jeff Davis, Terry Kennard, quarterback Homer Jordan from Athens, Cliff Austin, Chuck McSwain, Perry Tuller. Well, you're looking at this Clemson team now in 2021. A lot of similarities and a lot of talent. Let me start with the Tigers, the quarterback position. They're going to be all right. I'm not going to the young, butcher the young man's name. I'm going to call him DJU out of Northern California. All I got to say, he's going to be ready to play. And when it's all said and done in the next two or three years, he's going to be a top pick in the NFL draft. All you got to look at, go back to last year, 342 games, yards against Boston College, 458 yards against Notre Dame and two stars. He looked like he, he really looked like he belonged. Clemson is going to be all right. And Georgia, your secondary better get ready because he's going to come out with that smoke. Then you're looking at the running back position. I know they lost Travis Etienne. That's all right. But Lynn Lynn Dixon averaged almost six yards to carry last year in the reserve role. But what I've been hearing about coming out of camp, they got a freshman named Will Shipley. And all I heard about him is that he's got that Tony Dorsett type of aura to him that type of speed, that type of explosiveness. And we know how Tony Dorsett was at the University of Pittsburgh. Now, this is where people better take notice on the national level. The Clemson receiving core, we ain't talked about everybody else receiving core. But Justin Ross is coming back. He's back. NFL talent. All you got to do is go back to the Alabama game in 2018. And look what he's done against Patrick Satan and all them NFL draft picks in that secondary. Then they got Frank Laxton. They got Joseph Naga. They got EJ Williams. You know what all of them got in common? Top 10 NFL ability. DeAndre Hopkins, Mike Williams, Perry Tuggle. You better watch out because they coming to the NFL. And then you look at Clemson's offensive line. There's been rumors that they've had some problems, but they're going to be all right. They got a player in Matt Brockhaus. He's a football player. Clemson is going to be all right on the offensive line because the offense, the skilled players, and the quarterback is going to really set the tone coming up in Charlotte. Georgia defense better get ready to play. Then you're looking at Clemson's defensive side of the ball. We talk about great defenses of all time. We talk about the Nebraska defenses. We talk about the USC defenses. We talk about the Alabama defenses. We talk about great football players that's played on the defensive side of the ball from Lawrence Taylor, North Carolina, Jerry Robinson, UCLA, Chester McLaughlin, Clemson. I'm throwing them in there. William Perry with Clemson, Cortez Kennedy at Miami. But, man, this Clemson defense, I expect them to be one of the top three in the country. They were returning some star power. Miles Murphy saw him play in high school at Hills Grove. NFL top five pick. He's going to make y'all remember Jeff Bryan from that 1981 National Championship team. Brian Breezy, 6.5 sacks last year. 33 tackles. If there's any young defensive tackle right now at the sophomore position that's best in the country, let me know. Because he's going to follow that tradition of William Perry, Chester McLaughlin. He's coming. Then they got the young man at the linebacker position. I really love this kid, James Skansky. He's from Metro Atlanta, down there from Newton, Georgia. But you know what I like about him? He's going to play in six bowl games. He's been the heart and soul of that defense. I call him the the Stone Cold Steve Austin of college football. Trenton Simpson is going to be a player. He's next to being a great line of LeVon Kirkland. Oh, my God. This kid has got very, very special, special abilities. Then you're looking in the secondary. They got one player. He's got experience. Van McElroy, who played with the Raiders, played at Baylor. I love some Nolan Turner. He got my last name. 
He's solid as a rock. And then Andrew Booth, he's a player. Mario Goodrich is a player. I expect this Clemson defense is going to be ready to play. And you know what? What I like about Clemson coming into this game against Georgia, they seem like they're very relaxed. They've been there before. And this football team is special that they can go win it all and win this football game. Now I'm going to switch it on to the other side. The dogs. The University of Georgia. Two weeks ago, I had my top 10 of the top 10 teams in college football. And I rated Georgia as my top team. I expect the dogs and expectations to be all over the place. I love the coach Kirby Smart. His six year, let's face reality. Vince Dooley did a great job at Georgia. There's no question about it. Mark Rick did a great job at Georgia, but I'm sorry. Kirby Smart is taking this program to another atmosphere. It's up in the universe of where the dogs are. From recruiting to players going to the NFL, they sent nine players to the NFL last year. And this football team is special and it's got experience. The reason I picked Georgia number one is very, very simple. I don't have to go around. You look at all the quarterbacks that came in the preseason with Georgia that's had highly rated teams. Going back to Fran Tarkenton, going back to David Green, going back to Aaron Murray, even going back to Buck Malou, who won the national championship, and even DJ Shockman. But one thing about them, I don't think they had this type of what I call swagger, California. JT Daniels is a very special football player. The only reason he lost the USC job because of an injury. When you look at him, four games last year, 10 touchdowns, two INTs, over 1,281 yards throwing the ball, 1,281 yards. And to me, the big thing that separates him, he can throw the deep ball very well. And he's a guy that's not going to make a lot of mistakes. And I got a name for him, Axel Rose, Guns and Roses at the University of Georgia. He's going to be special this year. If Kirby Smart allows him and takes the shuckles off of him. Then looking at what Mr. Daniels has got. I moved to this area in 1996. And I followed Georgia from day one because I became great friends with some great Georgia fans. Paige Bridgman. Oh, my God, Josh Maddox. But my best friend, and I hope he's watching this, Joseph Teller. We know him as Joey T. And, man, when you're talking about Georgia football history, he's told me everything about this great school. But the running back position, they've had some great running backs. Nick Chubb, recently Sonny Michelle, Musa Smith, Herschel Walker, no question about it, Tim Worley. But this collective group right here, is special. When I say special, Zamir White is going to play at the next level. 771 yards, NFL talent. James Cook, playmaker, NFL talent. Oh, my God. Kenton Milton, between the tackles running, NFL talent. Kenny McIntosh, NFL talent. Then I'm going to go to the receiver group. Don't worry, Dog Nation. Y'all lost George Pickens. No question about it. Very special player. Mr. A. Gilbert right now stepped away from the program, but he's going to be a player. I'm going to pray for the young man. As Mr. Terrence Edwards said, let's pray for the young man because he's got special talent. I call him Keith Jackson of college football. But this dog receiving core, y'all going to be all right, man. Terrence Jackson showed y'all last year. I'm NFL talent. Jermaine Bruton. A California kid, trust me, when it's all said and done, he's going to be that special player. Then y'all got Adrian Smith, the kid out of Florida. Speed. But the guy who I think Georgia, if they're going to move up in the next level, that offense got to ascend. Man, y'all got to use that talent out of Las Vegas, Nevada. 6'7", 270 pounds, Mr. Donnell Washington. The second coming of Mr. Kellen Winslow Sr. when he was playing at Missouri. Then the offensive line is going to be stacked. Jamar Slayer, don't worry about a dog nation. He's going to take up the load at the left tackle position. But help is on the way. I saw this young man played in high school at the Athonia High School. Broderick Jones is a player. 
So the Georgia offense, it all comes down. They're still going to probably run the ball a lot. But Todd Munkin, are you going to release the shackles off JT Daniels? And Kirby Smart, who's behind everything, man, you got to open it up. It's time for the dogs to be at that next level of moving that football up and down the field. Because when I look at your offense, man, you got eight legitimate players that's going to play in the NFL. Then the defense. I just got through talking about Clemson defense. And I meant what I said. I think their defense has got a chance to be the best in the nation. But Georgia's defense is like that not far behind. Jordan Davis is a warrior. Warrior come out to play. He came back his senior year. NFL talent. Jalen Carter, warrior, NFL talent. Trayvon Walker is ready to take that next step. NFL talent. Come on, man. Shining stars watching. You get two seniors back and Devontae Wyatt, Julian Rochester, experience. Then you're looking at the linebacker position. Adam Addison is going to be one of the best pass rushing talents in the conference and in the country. He could have went in the draft last year and went in the second round. Out of Rome, Georgia, he's coming. Nolan Smith, it's your time to be a shining star. You're an NFL talent. And, of course, Nicobe Dean. I'm still trying to figure out how did y'all get this young man out of Horn Lake, Mississippi, which is only 40 miles from my hometown, the 901. And I told y'all all all the time, when you have a special player from the state of Mississippi, it's something in the water. Walter Payton, Jerry Rice, the Mannings, Archie from Drew, and, of course, Steve McNair, and the legend from Kill, Brent Farr, and the actors Morgan Freeman and James Earl Jones. N'Kobe Dean, in my opinion, is the best linebacker in the country. In the secondary, I know there's questions. Y'all going to play against a very, very serious NFL latent Clemson receiving core. But Kirby Smart, this is what you recruited for, man. Kelly Ringo, it's your time. Use the number one corner in the country. I'm mean, being speed. speed. You've been there five years, brother. But I like your size. It's your time to shine. NFL is watching. Lewis Klein, first round talent. Texas is in the house. And Christopher Smith, you solid. Don't worry about Georgia secondary. They're going to be ready to play coming two weeks against Clemson. What I like about this football game. NFL, NFL talent on each other. Coaching at a high level. The quarterback position, both young men are going to be in the league. Running back talent all over the field. The key to the game, which team is going to have the more big plays in the game and which defense is going to control the line of scrimmage. And can Georgia secondary, even though it's young and inexperienced, but they're going to be ready to play. And remember this. The trifecta in the game, because it's probably going to be big plays in the game. It's probably going to be some points scored. Deron Kendrick is going to be starting for Georgia. 6'1", 188 pounds. He's going over there against guys he played against, guys he fought and sweat against. He's going to be ready to play. And you know what? Hopefully Georgia follows his lead. It's going to be a phenomenal football game. Okay. I work that day from 8 to 4.30. I'm going to make sure that I'm off in time at least two or three hours. I'm probably going to go down to my favorite spot in Douglasville, Georgia, which is Buffalo Wild Wings. And it's going to be a lot of Georgia fans in there. And they're going to be woof, 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 talking about some dogs. Going to be a lot of Clemson fans in there. It's going to be a football game. It's going to be must-see across the country. And I'm excited. So, as I end this video today, y'all watching who I'm picking. I'm picking the Georgia Bulldogs in a very close football game. I picked them number one on the poll this year, and I'm going to stay with them. I think they got everything to win the national championship. And I'm taking them, and I'm taking JT Daniels. I think the California kid, Axel Rose, Gun and Roses, It's going to take them to the next level. It's just like the great musician, my favorite of all time, 
sly stone. I'm going to take you higher, do, do, higher, do, 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 do. It's time for them dogs and them tigers to take it high in two weeks. Oh, Vince, it can't come soon enough, man. Mark your calendars, set your clocks, September the 4th, 7.30 Eastern Standard Time. Oh, it's the irresistible force, meaning the immovable object. Two powerhouses, two young quarterbacks with something to prove. Like you said, JT Daniels looked nice in those few games he started. But let's not forget, Clemson's got a young man by the name of DJ Uyunglele, who's going to be doing some good work this year, too, replacing the great Trevor Lawrence. I'm ready to see this one. It's going to be a great battle. This football, I'm with you. I got the dogs winning this one. I say by him, hmm, I'll give them two scores. I think they're going to have a great day kicking off the season. It's going to be good for them to get a big win. And, hey, I know you might have ruffled some feathers in the college football nation by putting them at number one, but you brought up some good points. They got a great team, an amazing head coach, and I am definitely thinking they, as well as Clemson Tigers, might be seeing each other once again in that college football playoff come the later part of the season. So, I mean, I'm ready to get this game kicked off. Two powerhouses going at each other, two great coaches. What more can you ask for? It's going to be a great game to kick off college football, and I'm ready to see it. Well, hey, if you guys have enjoyed this video here today, thank you so much for tuning in. Whether you're watching us live on Facebook, YouTube, or on Twitch, we broadcast live each and every week with amazing game previews, team previews, Legends interviews, you name it, anything football related, we have it. Also, please go and check out our podcast available anywhere you listen to podcasts, such as Spotify, Apple, iTunes, iHeartRadio, or anywhere you listen to your daily podcast habits because we upload those episodes each and every day with our cast and crew, with of course the amazing Mr. Football Vincent Turner, myself, our other great producer, Jeremiah Long, who's taking a nice trip in Costa Rica right now. Hope he's having a great time. Of course, our great coaching analyst, Kevin the Bull Jones. And how can you forget? The, incom the incomparable, former Atlanta Falcon, former Florida State Seminole great Bobby Butler. Hey, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Hey, go dogs, go Tigers. It's going to be a great game, September the 4th, 7.30 Eastern Standard Time. Please drop a comment. Who do you think will win this game, and what do you think the score will gonna, is going to be? If we have another great episode of 100 Yards of Football coming up for you in just a second. See you then. What is your favorite moment from football history? What teams and players are you cheering on, and who will win it all? We want to hear from you, our listeners. Head over to 100 Yards of Football Sports Talk Radio's Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, or Twitch, and leave us a comment. We might use your suggestion in an upcoming episode. Tune in daily to the podcast and watch our show live every week. We are 100 Yards of Football Sports Talk Radio on the Believe Podcast Network.